Honestly, I'm just surprised that this didn't happen already. Okay, so I came home today to find that a video I did on Shattered Skies, which was a zombie MMO from the guys who made War Z, the video had been taken down to a manual copyright claim from the developers for Iran Entertainment. I quickly filed a counter notification, meaning that I'm defending my right as a content creator to critique products and games under fair use. So I sent them an email to follow up asking to resolve the issue and also ask why my video out of the hundreds of Shattered Skies videos was flagged for copyright infringement. They responded with a plethora of reasons and I just want to go through them one by one and negate every point that they sent my way. So they start off by saying that the video was flagged because it was exploiting our copyrighted work in bait and switch tactics as well as slander and defamatory statements towards their product. So to go into the bait and switch they're saying that when I was promoting the video as a Shattered Skies video in the title. The gameplay shown was that of Romero's Aftermath and other games that have nothing to do content-wise with Shattered Skies. They say that I use the term Shattered Skies as a bait to bring people to the channel, bring people to the video, and then click on the video and it's something else. They said I could have easily eliminated this issue by contacting them for a review key or, you know, saying it near the beginning of the video like this. Now just to break the confusion here, the game in the background is not Shattered Skies. Shattered Skies hasn't even been released yet, but it's coming soon and it's coming into alpha. It's ironic that they want to talk about bait and switches because when you go to the official Shattered Skies YouTube channel, the tags for the channel are very misleading and also false which I'm pretty sure is against YouTube's terms of service, but I, I, I digress. For legal reasons, I'm going to say that I don't think that they meant to mislead people with those channel tags. Furthermore, how many commentaries on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare are there using Black Ops 3 gameplay or using Black Ops 2 gameplay or Ghosts or Advanced Warfare? That happens all the time. When the topic of the video is centered around a certain topic, the gameplay in the background can be anything as long as the topic of the video is centered around what's in that title. They go on to talk about the defamatory statements they say you stated several times without any merit or proof that Shattered Skies is using content of Romero's Aftermath. You also stated that Shattered Skies is a reskin of Romero's Aftermath, assuming that is contains exactly same content and mechanics with minimal visual changes. They asked me for a merit of proof. We're talking about visual changes. I mean, look at it. I mean, I'm using my eyes when I make that judgment call. Every year, Call of Duty comes out and people say it's just a reskin of the old ones. Is Activision out there flagging these channels for saying that it's just a reskin? No, that shit is visual change only. I'm going to put Romero's Aftermath gameplay up on the screen here and let's just compare it to Shattered Skies. It is essentially a reskin. The mechanics are very fucking similar. I mean, let's not deny the, the mechanics of the game are almost identical. They say once again, you would have been able to avoid it if you actually have either waited for public release of the game, which happened around the same time you posted your video, or if you contacted us and used actual game content in your videos. The thing is though, is at the time there was no gameplay and that's fine because I didn't make my video center around gameplay that wasn't yours I said very specifically in the video that this is not Shattered Skies gameplay what my video was was a commentary on your past history they say we're known to be open to any critique of our products as harsh as it can be but we cannot allow false statements to be used as a reason for those critiques this is the line that pisses me off the most because I can scour the internet and I can look all around and just search War Z forum bans, Romero's Aftermath bans, and there is a plethora of people who have been banned from your forums, who have been censored, who have been deleted from the Steam hubs. There is it, it, it the, the evidence is everywhere. So for you to sit here and tell me that you are open to critique at the same time flagging my video and putting a strike on my channel is absolute bullshit. If you were open to this, you could have sent me an email asking if I could revert the video to any changes you get. You guys didn't make any effort to contact me. But what you did do, and this is the best part of this entire thing, what you did do for this video is you commented underneath. You and I had a back and forth talking about some of the points in the video, basically how you said in the email. You thought that some of the things I said was misleading. I didn't think so. But then you went on to insult the channel, and, and this is the best part. You went on to insult the channel by saying, um, that's okay, we won't bother his 600 viewer strong channel. It was just it was just a nice little, nice little send-off for you, like, eh, 
this guy doesn't matter until the point that I did fucking matter. And that's what I want to talk about is the fact that, yeah, this game's getting a little bit of steam on, on Twitch. People are streaming it. People are searching for gameplays on YouTube and what pops up first in the search engine, but my video. And all of a sudden, two months after you leave this comment, you decide to flag the video. Now, again, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm not for legal reasons. I'm not saying that what you did was, was specifically that I'm just saying that the circumstances surrounding this flag, the fact that you commented on it two months earlier and then left it up you were fine with it. And then, yeah, you negated some points, but you didn't, you didn't ask me to take the video down. You invited me to the forums and, and you never did anything for two months. You sat on it and then you just decided to flag it after guys like summit start streaming it and people start figuring out what this game is. Again, legal reasons. I'm not saying that that's what happened. Just letting you guys know the circumstances. But I will say that 600 viewers strong is a little bit bigger now, isn't it? (laughs) And just to finish off the email, they go on to link reputable YouTubers and streamers. And they link four videos. Shout out to Psy Syndicate. Shout out to Dakotas. Thank you, Dakotas, by the way, for sharing the video that you know, inevitably got flagged, but all the, all the videos they linked are just like let's plays or playthroughs. Um, there's no critiquing there. So they call the guys reputable and I'm not saying anything against them. I'm just saying they cherry picked the videos. There is no critique. They're just showing gameplay, right? They're not like my channel. Go to, go to somebody like Jim Sterling or total biscuit or somebody in the realm of critiquing products and, and link me their videos and and the problem is, is you won't do that. You cherry picked Let's Plays because there's no critiquing involved, positive or negative. So I didn't really like that either. But shout out to those YouTubers that are reputable in Free Reign Entertainment's eyes. Basically, guys, this whole thing is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Um, as a YouTuber who's been gaining some steam lately, my social blade stats are, are, are looking up. You know, I, I, I've been getting a lot of buzz behind me lately. And now for this to happen really fucking sucks. Um, I'm not allowed to upload videos longer than 10 minutes. Um, so I... I can't do podcasts on on YouTube anymore. I can do them on Twitch. I can do them live, but I can't actually upload them here anymore. Anything that's longer than 10 minutes. So if I have an epic rant or something, I can't upload it. I just, I'm limited in that. I can't live stream on YouTube, even though I don't do that anyway. Um, Annotations no longer exist on my channel until uh, December 18th, 2016. That's when the strike expires. Um, But we need to do something. Because I feel like the biggest problem here is how easily this was able to happen. And we we see it a lot with the big channels. And they usually have people behind them, lawyers and such, to to help them through this. Um, But for somebody my size, this is a big issue. Um, It's censorship in the highest form. Because they didn't like the, the, the opinions that I shared about their video. It's simple as that. It's blatant. Plain as day. Clear as crystal that this is censorship. Um, now, I don't know who to reach out to if we tag YouTube or if we... I, I, I don't know. But if you guys are out there watching, you enjoy the content, um, I'm, I'm asking for your help on this one. Who do we go to to get this resolved? This video is going to be unmonetized, so I just ask you guys to share this wherever you can to explain that this is what's going on. Um I, I don't want to make any fucking money off this. If you guys, if I'm asking you to share it, I don't want to exploit that. So if you guys can just share this, let people know the situation, um, maybe get it in the right hands. Guys like Kotaku, I, I don't know. Just reach out. Let's reach out and, and a end this fucking YouTube censorship bullshit and b shine a light on some of the worst developers in the gaming industry i've said it since day one that these guys are scam artists and and they they will do anything to keep people quiet um but you guys know that's not my that's not my style so if we can share this video get it to the right people and let people know what's going on and potentially i can get some help and get this strike removed off the channel anyways guys my name is big fry (laughs) And I will see you on the next one.